Hello, good news. It's time to get new here, and it's Thursday, which means it's Serious Talk Day. If you don't know what my Serious Talk videos are, basically, these videos are I'm given a topic either by you guys or a video I top. Oh, geez, sorry. I just finished eating. <laughs> Had some delicious homemade pizza. It was amazing. Um, but speaking, anyway, moving on, these videos is basically Serious Talk videos are you guys give me a topic, or I find a topic, or somehow I get a topic. Uh, whether it be serious or funny or whatever, and I talk about it. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple idea. So today, we're going to talk about a topic that was suggested to me by someone that I will go find now. <laughs> I literally just had it up on my screen, but uh, my browser just crashed. So, you know. Uh, I almost have it. Just, just give, me, give me a second. Give me... Give, give me just give me, give me a second. <laughs> uh, there we go. Another serious talk suggested by First Metal God. Um, and this is going to be a dual sort of super serious talk. We're going to be talking about the afterlife, the possibility of afterlife, and uh, reincarnation. And I've sort of gotten into both of these topics um, before, but I would like to go ahead and go through them again. Um, just. Just because I get more into depth about it and what I personally believe and compared to what other people may believe and etc etc sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to keep this relatively short just because there's not a lot I have to talk about this. But afterlife. Um, obviously a bunch of religions have their own different definitions of afterlife. Um, Hinduism believe Hindus or Hinduism believes that uh, you get reincarnated, it's a, it's a constant cycle of life, death, and reincarnation. Um, Christians believe that once you die, you move on to live in heaven, um, and there's other religions that believe in other things. And um, I think there is a possibility of afterlife. I seriously believe there there is one. and. Uh, Simply because I don't want to think about going through this world, uh, or this, this life, I guess, and once I reach the end of this journey, just there being nothing. Because that would, like, it's scary to think of, because then there's just, there's nothing. I'd rather have, um, some sort of type of afterlife, and the afterlife, I believe, would be the best afterlife. Um, would be being reincarnated into another human and being able to relive that life. And even though I wouldn't be able to remember what I remember from this life, I would still like to be reincarnated because then there are those sort of things where you feel like, uh, at certain times you feel like, oh, maybe a past life I did this or something. Or there's certain things that you remember that you didn't think you'd remember before, but you somehow remember them sort of thing. Like, I don't know. Don't don't poke people too much or something like that. Who know? Who knows? Don't stick a fork in a socket outlet. I don't know. But um, there's there's certain things that you just remember um, for some apparent reason that you never pretty much heard of, but you still sort of remember it. And it's just could be not could be from a past life. Could be from just you somehow heard of it and it's just unconsciously remember and consciously you just can't remember um, there's just probably other reasons or whatnot and stuff like that but I personally believe that reincarnation is um, the afterlife I would like to consider um, I was I, I'm just going to delve into this quickly now um, before people get angry since I'm bringing up things that do have to do with religion and tends to, people tend to get a bit angry when that happens but, um, I was raised as a Christian, and that means I believe, or, that means j the gist of it is, there's God, there's Jesus, etc, etc, Christian church, um, and I myself have, within the past, last year, actually, I have converted away from Christianity, I am now agnostic, which basically means that... I believe there's a possibility of a God and there's a possibility that there isn't God. It's not I'm not stating that I don't believe in God. It just states that basically I believe that there is a possibility of a God and multiple gods and there's a possibility that there is no God. 
that's pretty much it. I, it's, it's like the most neutral there is on religion. And, it's, and some of you guys might be like, isn't that the same as atheism? Atheism is basically you believe that there is no God at all. And atheists are usually people that are very strict on theirs. And whenever people tend to bring up religion around them, um, they tend to go like, oh, why do you even believe that? Because there is no God sort of thing. Um, at least from what I've heard and seen uh, from other atheists I happen to know of. Um, and there's also theism, which is that you believe there is God. That's literally it. You believe that there is God. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, uh, I, I'm not specifically under the agnostic religion. I have other aspects of other religions within my own life, so I believe that the Hindu, like Hindu Hindus believe in Hinduism, that uh, reincarnation is possible and that I will be reincarnated after I die. I do not believe that I have to be cremated in order to re move on from this life, sort of thing. And there's other things like um, other other beliefs from other religions that I happen to incorporate into my own life as well, sort of thing. So. It's, uh, I personally believe that after this life is done with, um, is over, our journey is past, that, um, it won't just end with nothingness. It will continue on in some sort of form. And I believe that form will be through being recreated and created into another human. Or, if I am deemed by whatever power there is in this world, if there is one, um, then that I uh, was not worthy in my life to move on to another human life, um, then I, I guess I will turn into some sort of animal, as it's sort of explained in reincarnation. Reincarnation is basically like your actions in life are taken into consideration by whatever being that happens to be looking over your life again. There's a movie that actually really does, um, really shows this aspect really well. And it's a, it's a Hollywood movie. It's relatively old. It's from mm, 2000s, I think. Maybe 1990s. Um, it's a really old movie. It's called Defending Your Life. I watched it in religion class this year. It's a very good movie. It really go. It really portrays the the idea of reincarnation very well. So I highly suggest you check it out if you're in, interested into the, that sort of idea, or if you're just curious as to what exactly reincarnation is and what could possibly come after um, this life sort of thing. So you could go check it out. It is a Hollywood movie, so obviously there's Hollywood, Hollywood aspects in it, but it does stick relatively true to that sort of idea. There's also other ideas, but it doesn't directly say, oh, this is reincarnation or whatever, or this is heaven or blah, 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 or whatever you want to say. It's just, it doesn't directly say it. It's just a Hollywood movie portraying what happens after you die. <laughs> Um, or an idea of what would happen after you die. So anyway, the gist of it is, I believe that there is reincarnation, and there is the afterlife is a possibility through reincarnation. Um, some people might think differently of me, and I understand that you have other different opinions based on your own experience slash um, beliefs. And in no way will I am I trying to say that your beliefs or opinions are wrong. I'm just saying I personally believe that reincarnation is possible and that's what will happen once I my journey is done. So um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Afterlife is um, like reincarnation is the afterlife. There's, I, I'd assume the afterlife would sort of be like an area um, where like just Sort of like Harry Potter, where you're at like a major point in your life, like a, ma a station, like a train station. And Harry Potter is a train station, or um, it could be like a road or something where there's multiple directions around you and different ways you can go. And then at that point, um, the higher being or whatever or something um, will tell you, will go over your life and sort of tell you what 
happens afterwards. And I think that time period that that happens in is too short of a time to consider it, consider it afterlife. I wouldn't say it'd be seconds, but I think it'd probably be minutes um, within that time. Because, you know, lifetime is a long time, right? And I'd, it can go fast once you're reviewing it at that point. I'm assuming it will go faster, but um, I, I, I still don't think it would take seconds to go through it. Because it's just too fast. You need at least like a minute or two. So I, th I, I believe that, um, I personally think that afterlife, you know, it is possible, it is something to consider, and it, it, I understand why exactly people believe in it and, and why it's in the majority of religions, because not many, no one really wants to think about what happens after this journey ends, um, and when I say journey, I'm meaning life, by the way, I, I tend to use the word journey just because it is a journey we're always on. No matter what you're doing, we're in, on a journey. Life is just what we were given at the beginning of this journey. Um, <laughs> dang. That was pretty... I don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> so... It's just when you think about what happens after this journey is done, and not many people want to think that it just ends with nothingness, and then for the rest of eternity, there's nothingness. Um, it just ends once you pass away. Uh, so obviously religions have incorporated that idea and people have incorporated ideas of afterlife or reincarnation or whatever um, else there may be where you don't just end. It doesn't just end. It's more, you know, it doesn't just end. It just moves on in a different way. So yeah, but I personally think that afterlife would be like a train station or a road with multiple directions. Sort of just to show that you can go in multiple directions, sort of thing, at this point in time. And it'd be only a couple minutes long, but it'd be like in slow-mo. <laughs> it'd be a couple minutes you'd be there, but it'd be in slow-mo, so that it seems like it'd be longer. I'm not saying like a day, or a week, or a month or a year, or ten years, or a hundred years, or one thousand years, I mean like it'd just be a bit longer, so like maybe ten minutes instead of two minutes, or something like that. Um, and then I do believe that reincarnation is possible, and that that's personally what I believe will happen once I pass away, um, just because I don't want to, I've only been told of, or informed of, um, through beliefs that um, there is the afterlife through reincarnation and there's also the afterlife through going to heaven and my hand is shaking right now, it's really weird <laughs> um, and from what I've been told from going to heaven or whatever you want to call it, the kingdom of God or whatever you may want to call it, there's different names for it and whatnot. But from what I've been told, it's just sort of, you're internally at peace. But I just think it, I think it'd be really boring, to be honest. And reincarnation seems like a really good idea because it takes into account that, oh, if you are bad in this life, then you obviously don't move on to be another human. Then you would move on to be an animal and you have to move, work your way back up to being a human. Uh, sort of as karma. And, um, I, I really like that idea, so, that's what I personally think. Anyway, I'm going to end this off. As I told you, it was a relatively short, serious talk. Um, so what do you guys think of the idea of the afterlife? Do you think it's a possibility? Do you think it's not? And what do you think would be afterlife? What do you think it would be? What do you think it'd be, like, my idea of afterlife? Or do you think it'd be some other idea of afterlife tell me in the comments i'm curious to know and also about reincarnation do you believe that reincarnation is possible or do we just move on to afterlife or do we just does it just end does this journey just end uh i'd, I'd be curious to know your guys opinions so make sure to tell me in the comments um so that was the video hope you guys enjoyed it uh next week's serious talk is next thursday so make sure to stop by uh, I really hope you guys enjoy the Serious Talk videos. They are easily my favorite videos I put up on the channel. So I really hope you guys enjoy them. Um, so that was the video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have suggestions for future serious talks, make sure to tell me in the comments. I'm always searching for new suggestions, um, simply because hi, trying to make up ideas every week is a bit difficult. Um, so anyway, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.